might be a little bit late, but we're going to put out the Tricky Gamma Wasp. What are these guys supposed to do? I forgot. <laughs> it's a beneficial wasp that lays its babies in a caterpillar. The larva. Uh, I could use your strong thumb over here, mister. Look, there's a old So they come on these little they come on these little tabs and these little specks right there are the trichogamma eggs and they they're supposed to hatch when the weather's a certain temperature. I guess they're like a predatory wasp. Yes. That they are. They're very small. Very tiny. Yeah, our non-GMO light pole. Wahaha. Get her something. Push. Oh, it's too hard. You push. We should put that on the peach tree. Oh well. Lives. You put them on a shady side, a sunny side, does it matter? I put it on a sunny side so they'll get warmed up and do their thing. Three of them do a quarter of an acre. Three of them to a quarter acre. We have six of them? Yep. Put one of these on a plum tree. Okay, I think that's where we had it last year. Yep. Well, you do the other plum tree this time. What? We'll put it on the other plum tree this time. Well, the fig trees look coming along nicely. Yep. You need some water though. Rain. Come on, rain. Had rain in a long time. Right here? Looks good to me. Sorry, little palm tree, but did I get all the way in? Looks like it. Okay. What about the others? on the other quarter acre. You guys see all this really high wheatgrass and stuff from the seeds we had. We had the one of our chicken tractors back here last fall. So look how fast that grass came back and how green it is compared to a regular backyard. Pretty amazing. Well, a lot of this grass hasn't come out yet. Different kinds of grass. Should put one here on the fence. I deem you to be in charge of tricky gammas. Deemed. Well, deem it all. Deem it all. <laughs> Deemed me once. Exactly in the sunshine, is it? Oh, that piece post over there, it'll be hard. That post over there by the old pasture gate, it's the only wooden one. That's what I'm talking about. Find my little baby apple tree. Which order are they in? Red, green, and yellow? Red, yellow, green. 
red, yellow, green. Let's see the flowers on these guys are really nice. I have faith you can do it. No, this is like petrified me. Don't put it to crack. I don't want to put it in a crack. Ow. You did it. Success. Indeed. I guess the only other place we put it in is the other gate. Yeah, we can put one over there. Is that the last one? It's the tag that I lost. Yay. So weird how things disappear and it's like gone forever and then boom, it's just right out. Spice apple. Cinnamon spice apple. Nice. <coughs> we got a lot of planning to do this weekend. Oh my gosh. If we have a few minutes, we might even plant something tonight. Just to make us feel better. <coughs> <coughs> well, of course, I, I think we probably have... It's been a super busy week. So, uh, we haven't been getting all the eggs washed. Just, how many eggs do you think we have in there? We got 36 tonight. That's probably the average per day times a day. four. Probably. Got a bazillion. Oh, look it. Yeah, check this out. Planted a grapevine last fall and um, between the rabbits and stuff, deciding to eat it, um, it was nothing but a stub. But uh, the little guy's coming right back. Need to take care of the fire ants around it, but the little grape is looking good. <coughs> asparagus plant, the asparagus we planted last year beginning to take hold, kind of spreading out. Yeah. Wherever you think. Uh, It'll be hard to push into that knot, maybe though. Well, I'm not on the knot. Not on the knot, knot. Not on a knot. Not on a knot, knot. We are officially protected by wow. tricky gamma wasps. Wasps. We should see no <coughs> no caterpillars this year. Well, that's right. Not, that's not exactly true. No, it's not true. It's not exactly true. No. Little persimmon tree is looking really good too. Not I'm sorry, not persimmon. It's pomegranate, right? Yeah. Oh, John, he didn't mean it. Pomegranate, looking good. The raspberries putting on leaves. And blackberries looking good. And buds, up. those are buds, flower buds. Some flower buds on there. That means. Oh, look fruit. at that one. You want to put it up on the fence? Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Big old ginormous yeah. ones. Ginormous. <coughs> Thornless blackberry. Woohoo. Look at there. Yep. Yay. Nice. We've got a whole bunch of those to plant too. How much of what? Oh, a bunch of blackberries. We've blackberry. got those ones we pulled up out in the in the kitchen garden that um, were in the wrong place. These guys <laughs> are boys and berries. You need to go to berry school, man. These are very prickly. They are. They will bite you. But they've got lots of flowers, so it'll be interesting to get our first uh, fruit off of these this year, hopefully. 
Yeah. Got some of these long vines we need to tie up like these others and get them on the fence, the ones that are loose. But some of them we let grow across the, the bed just to populate the bed. We have to get some gloves on to handle these. The weeds are thornless. Weeds are thornless, that one is anyway. There's a big old weed in there. How dare they well, inhabit? Mulch does a pretty good job, but it's not foolproof. Seeds fly through the air. Nice. Oh my goodness, we should plant that in the kitchen garden yeah, with the other spinach. True. Let's go look at the A-frame and see this. What do you have there? It's a yellowing... Chamomile? Chamomile. Those don't really look like they need too much water today, do they? Except maybe some on they the edge. They need to be planted. They do need to be planted. You want to plant them? In the ground. In the ground. Well, while you're deciding, I'm going to look in here and see what else is going on. Look at these tomatoes. Those guys get planted Saturday, as many of them as we can. We've got a plan on our spreadsheet where most of these things go. We've still got lettuce to plant. We have all of these lettuce to plant. That'll probably give us our first harvest. What Bell is peppers. This? Oh, and Goodness. Yo, Mister. What? Look at these guys. What are those? That's your experiment. Yeah, these we just sliced up a tomato and buried the tomato. Some kind of an heirloom we picked up at the grocery store, and we liked the look of the tomato, so we decided to try it. It's. We exploding. thought we got two. Yeah. Suddenly, it's uh, really exploded in there. We have to see how to separate those. You got a few flowers planted in there. Calendula. Yeah. And we have Corlic Cherry Tomatoes, San Marzano's, Yellow Pear, Gold Nugget, we have Big Beef Hybrids, we have Abe yeah. Lincoln's, some more San Marzano's, Black Vernissage, and lots of different kinds of peppers. We have Tomatilla started. We've got strawberries down there waiting for some baskets that we ordered online. We have Italian sweet peppers, Italian giant Marconis, and Jedi F1 jalapenos. So lots of things going on there. We have uh, chocolate peppers which we haven't planted before and we have uh, what is the other one we have? Can't even pronounce it. But we got lots of peppers and tomatoes and we have some more seed starts from uh, seed starts of Rainbow Swiss chard. We're gonna get those guys planted. We have a bunch we planted out in the field in seed, but those were our starts. We need a home. More lettuce, sage, <coughs> and a bunch of English thyme back there as well. But this little A-frame's worked out pretty well for our first season. Pretty pretty hot day today, it's about 80 degrees, so we, in the mornings, early in the morning, uh, just open one of, the, one of the sides, or depending on the wind or weather, we can decide how much of it to open. Working out pretty well. <laughs> 